What up, y'all? It's your man, Patience. And listen, I'm going to definitely need you guys to hold my mule on this one. All right, Tina Campbell, one half of the supergroup Mary Mary. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with her. She took to Facebook to write an open letter on how she's in support support of Donald Trump. Yeah, you heard me right. She's in support of Donald Trump. You can see it right here in the letter. It says, I choose to believe in President Donald Trump. I choose to stand with him and pray for him. It also says right here, President Donald Trump is the elected leader of this nation. So as a citizen, I choose to be for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're scratching your head, so am I. But anyway, I took the time to read this letter, man, on her page through a few times and uh i do want to say this you know she does have a right to her opinion and she can stand anywhere she like but i gotta be real with y'all after reading this letter it comes off as extremely naive i mean seriously is she living in a bubble somewhere i really don't get it but anyway i am gonna address this one point uh that really just raked my nerves and i'm gonna leave this linked up in the description box below so you guys can uh read it for yourselves and get in the comment box and tell me what you think all right, so here we go. And it says, I believe that the leaders of this nation should protect the opportunity for life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness for every single one of its citizens. And I choose to believe that Mr. Donald Trump shares this belief. I, when I read that, I was like, duh? I mean, seriously? Now, wait a minute. And she believes that the leaders of this nation should protect the opportunity for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And Donald Trump shares this belief. I mean, are we talking about the same Donald Trump that banned Muslims, not just Muslims from other countries, but Muslim citizens from being able to get back into this country? That Donald Trump, the same Donald Trump that wanted to deport all immigrants, the same Donald Trump that wanted to, you know, make life miserable for everybody that's in this country, that Donald Trump shares the same belief. I don't get that at all. I don't get that at all, man. And then uh, she uses a lot of I believe, I believe, I believes in here. So she makes it very clear that this is her opinion and her opinion alone. And like I said before, I'm not trying to say what she should believe or where she should stand. But man, this letter just really came off as very naive. I don't get it at all, man. So there was another part in here. Uh, that I wanted to talk about. And it says, I believe that as the Bible establishes and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s life has proven, we will all accomplish more with love and unity than we ever will with indifference and division. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, the Bible is very clear that there's a time for everything. That's in the book of Ecclesiastes. And also, man, I need people to stop acting like Dr. Martin Luther King was the king of Kumbaya. That man was very adamant about calling out uh, racial inequality in his famous speech, his I Have a Dream speech. He called out the mayor of Alabama. He called him out. So listen, we need to stop this whole nonsense, man, uh, that, you know, you cannot call things for what they are. You can't call out race baiting and um, malicious treatment of people of other races and, um, you know, not still be a citizen of this country, man. We need to stop with that. Seriously, we really do. But anyway, uh, it's your man, Patience. Listen, appreciate you guys holding my mule on this one. Like I said, man, I'm going to leave it linked up in the description box down low. You guys, read this letter for yourself, man. Get in the comment box. Let me know what you think, man. Wow. Still shocked by this one, scratching my head. But anyway, till the next time, I'm out.